How to give a dog an enema. To give a dog an enema, you need to introduce liquid into the dog's anus. The liquid helps to loosen up dry feces and may relieve constipation. Giving a dog an enema is not a difficult task, but it does need to be done right. Too much force, the wrong kind of liquid, or poor positioning of the enema can cause harm to the dog. It is also important to make sure that your dog requires an enema before proceeding. When in doubt, you should take your dog to a veterinarian for a thorough checkup. Determining if a dog needs an enema. Take your dog to see a veterinarian. Before you decide to give your dog an enema, you should take your dog to see a veterinarian. If you suspect that your dog is constipated because you have noticed him straining or because you have noticed that he is not pooping at all, then make an appointment to have your dog examined. Your dog may have an obstruction or the problem may be related to an underlying cause that requires treatment. Performing an enema incorrectly can be harmful to your pet. Do not attempt to perform an enema on your dog without first consulting your veterinarian and getting advice. 1. Be aware that enemas should only be used to help with constipation. Constipation is the buildup of feces in the lowest part of the bowel. This can occur because of a lack of fiber in the diet, which tends to produce a hard, dry stool that is difficult to pass. Other less common causes of constipation include not getting enough exercise. If your dog does not get much exercise, then he may become constipated. Dehydration. If your dog has not been drinking enough water, then he may become constipated. A blockage. If your dog is eating well, exercising, and getting enough water but still not producing any stool, then a blockage may be to blame. A change in the anatomy of the pelvis, such as after being hit by a car. This may cause the pelvis to become narrower and that may make it hard for the dog to pass feces. Arthritis pain in the hips. This may cause a dog to avoid defecating as much as possible rather than deal with the pain and discomfort. This causes the feces to dry out, which makes it even more difficult to pass. 3. Monitor your dog's bowel movements. Your dog's bowel habits and bowel movements can help you to confirm whether or not he is constipated. If you think that your dog may be constipated, then observe him when he goes to do his business and check the yard after he has gone as well. Things to watch for include. Producing hard, dry, and or small stools. If his stools are hard, small, or if he is not pooping at all, then he may be constipated. Not pooping for several days. If he is eating well but does not poop for several days, then he is probably constipated. Straining when trying to go. If he then starts straining and nothing comes out, then he is likely to be constipated. Crying when trying to defecate. If your dog cries when he tries to go to the bathroom, then you should take him to see a veterinarian right away. Consider medical conditions that may put your dog at risk of constipation. Certain medical conditions can make it difficult to pass feces. In the male dog, an enlarged prostate gland is a common problem. The prostate sits below the rectum and pushes upwards as it grows bigger. Like putting your foot on a hose, an enlarged prostate can make passing feces difficult. Make sure the problem is not trouble urinating. Difficulty urinating can sometimes look like constipation, especially in female dogs. Rule out diarrhea. Diarrhea can be mistaken for constipation because of the behaviors associated with it. Diarrhea may cause a dog to squat often due to a feeling of urgency. That is why it is so important to check your dog's bowel movements and rule out the possibility that he has diarrhea. If your dog passes liquid stools, then it is unlikely he is constipated and an enema is not necessary or advised. 